Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Nation with Polonia Vorshevar. It might be a little bit darker today uh, because the sun is blaring through and it is beautiful, um, but even my light that has the power of a sun isn't quite able to uh, block that out. So it, it's better than it would be, believe me. If I didn't have the light on, I would be entirely in silhouette like I was giving testimony for some kind of whistleblowing case, which is not what I'm doing, I promise. Now, I thought we'd start today on the, the transfers page, just because I never really get to show you this, guys, because I normally have to hide it so that you can't see the transfers I've made so that I can show them on by one. Um, but we've only made one more transfer, uh, which is this guy. This is Guido Turchi, who's come in on loan from Fiorentina uh, for the season. I basically wanted to just bring in a couple of loanies just to see if I could really, but I could see very little about him. All I could see was his value. Um, and I kind of just sorted them a value and had a look and who wouldn't want super large amounts of wages. But he's just another backup defensive midfielder to bring in to play a bit of backup to uh, Gorka this season. Um, and he's 18 years old, young Italian. Couldn't go wrong there, could I? Did you manage to upgrade your facilities as the chairman never agreed on my save? Um, no. So the the only facilities upgrades that we've got is we've got the youth recruitment upgraded by one, but that's more to do with money and the junior coaching budget upgraded, but no actual facilities just yet. I think we're going to have to do a few seasons in Europe and really get some big funds. I think it's going to take a Champions League group stage qualification, really, for the board to decide that. Is it possible to post the live streams you've been doing on here so we can watch them after you've done them? Um, not on YouTube, because YouTube will ding me uh, for all sorts of reasons, but they are still all on Twitch. You can watch them back on Twitch. Um, they have the video, video on demand. If you actually go on my Twitch page, the link's in the description. Um, if you go on the videos, you'll see that they're all there in their entirety not only that but you can actually see the chat live uh, not live you know what i mean though the actual chat that goes along with um what was going on for increased context uh, so that is definitely a thing we can do why for the second do you use the macedonia flag it's not the macedonia i mean I, it kind of is but that's not my intention it was just like a a, a sort of shape of some colors i made it's not intended to be the macedonian flag right then Big stuff today. Uh, we've got some games off camera. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a goal from one of them too, because you're gonna need to see this. And then we've got two matches today. Um, you can kind of assume we got through. More on that in a minute. First up, we were away at Swansk and we got the win. I couldn't believe this. They didn't play that weird system they did against us last year. Presumably different manager. And we came up with a victory. We were in front after 20 seconds. Wojciech Fiacic, you have to see this. Honestly, if I hadn't already used the what the fuck was that segment, I would be using it for this. Fiacic dispossesses his defender and then just chips it in after 20 seconds to give us the lead. The perfect start. Great to see him carrying on from his last match. So there you go. And in the second half, Alexander Janowski played in this one because of Zavshikrai uh, just being unfit, really. And he scored his first ever senior goal for the club, the youngster. He's had a really, really good start to the season. Come to key passes. He's looking a bit more like Zavshikrai, and that's very, very pleasing. He's actually got a better pass completion rate than Zavshikrai. So another win there and another clean sheet. Three in a row. We then had the inevitable second leg against Shakhtar. We did concede again, though, which is a bit frustrating. A pair of goals in this one for Darius Zuba. Um, starting to see a lot more out of old Darius. He's considering he didn't get a goal or an assist in the entirety of last season. He's already got three goals this season and is really stepping into the fold this year to give me a reason why he should be in this team. Uh, great work from him. And as you can see, Alexander Janowski also added a goal in this game too. Another good performance from him. Really, really nice to see. This one sort of deflected still. 3-1, 6-1 to aggregate. We're through. And we'll be playing Zoya of Ukraine in the uh, double live con today. That's going to be quite difficult, I think. And I think this might be where we bow out. And then finally, at home against Corona in the league. 3-0 victory. It took a long time to get going in this one. We were really grinding through them. And I was thinking, no, we're not going to get any points. from We're going to get a draw or something. But then Devin Hoxha scores an absolutely brilliant goal before adding another one 20 minutes later. Two goals for him today. Man of the match. Really top performance. And then Jan Peltz comes off the bench, I think it was, late on to make it 3-0. Really, really solid performance from everybody. Um, just across the board, great performances from the whole team. Really, really nice work from us there. 3-0 win over Corona. Brilliant stuff. And it's particularly in episodes like this where me showing highlights would make me slow up down way too much, particularly as we've got loads of off-camera games, two live comms, and a game in between. It's just there's too much stuff, and I want to concentrate on the really cool stuff, which is showing you matches. And as you can see, we're top of the league. 13 points from our first five matches, no defeats yet, a plus nine goal difference. Janowski is the, the third highest average rated in the in the entire league now. He is having a wonderful start of the year. Neugebauer's already got four clean sheets. Um, You might notice here that Mr. Ferrer, the guy I tried to sign, is the current top scorer in the league. Actually, I'll just show you him very, very briefly this is the guy i was after uh, to bring in instead of david hoksha but he moved for 1.4 million and i still think hoksha was probably the better deal for us to the surprise of no one uh, they are the favorites that's fine they've got someone out with the virus we've got some unregistered players that's just how it is unfortunately and mateus gore out anthony taylor will referee it but the most important thing is most of our first team are available for this match and i'm probably going to go with uh yeah or do i want to bring in i think i want to bring in coyote he's actually done all right so far and he rested for the last game too so yeah, I'm going to go with that. Kamil Hoksha, uh, Fiacic, Zaborowski, Zavshikai, Gorka, Kokoshka, Konefal, Coyote. Oh my god, oh, so many K defenders. Uh, Yamrog and Noyabout on the bench. We're going to have to switch this up. Yam Peltz is unregistered for some reason. That's a change. I don't think I... Oops. That was a mistake on my part. 
because well, he was registered before. I think we're going to go with Kucharski, Kashalik, Zuba, Saucek, Pomorski, Janowski, and Boknak. Um, options for days on the bench. So a few more guys sort of around the team beyond that as well. The likes of Todorov, who's nearly back to fitness. He'll be a great asset to have as a third choice centre midfielder. As was the case last time in these games. Oh, they're playing a different system. No worries. It's always hard to judge and know what to make of these guys. We know what to do, though. First change I'm going to make is switch to... Um, we'll keep with this system... But we're going to go down the wings because they've literally got no one there. But we are also going to... Actually, I'll leave the distribution... No, we will distribute to fullbacks. They're going to have no space. It's going to be such a wide game, this one. I'm interested. Forgot we were still on 3D from showing the uh, Fiatic goal earlier. Um, Again, away goal is the key thing for us. If we come up and get one of those today, then it's really, really good time for us. Sabrowski's already has a dreadful ball in. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh-oh. Get out to him. Get out to him. Oh, what a great strike. Oleg Turco. I mean, you could argue it's indirect free kick. I don't really know. That's just an unbelievable effort from Turco. And now we trail 1-0 to Zoya. Um, we get out to him reasonably well, but it's this touch here. He just tucks it across and bends a... Be That's a really good goal. Uh, keeper's a bit late diving there, but that is an insanely good finish from Turco. Not the start we wanted. I mean, as first halves go, that was about as bad as we've been in a long time, considering we're usually pretty good against teams with this kind of shape, which is more perturbing, if anything. I think we're going to go get stuck in and actually engage them a bit higher up. I'm also going to widen the attacking width and pass into space for this second half. Go back onto attacking. Just trying a few things out here. One nil, it's still kind of poised. They don't look like scoring themselves, but we certainly don't. That's a tough task for him. Oh, well, lovely ball for Camille. Nobody in the box really for him, though. And oh! A, oh, what a chance. That's better. More like it, lads. There you go. Use that width. Pass that into space. Find some openings. Kokoschka's ball. Camille! Oh, my goodness. Okay. Definitely a better start to the second half. I think passing into space is what's working because we've got so much space out wide that allowing the players to actually drop the ball into space for their teammates is making a huge difference. Kamil, he's going all the way through. Fiacek, there we go. Equaliser, Wojciech Fiacek's fourth of the year and his third in just three champion uh, Europa League group games. This is more like it now. We've really stepped things up in the second half. Uh, I think it was the pass into space that's made the difference. The look at the, the passes are just... In, well, not that one. Just it's slightly in front of people. Uh, lovely ball back across from Camille, actually. And a lovely hit into the bottom corner from Fiacek. Fourth of the season. And the lad continues to fly. That's our away goal. Lovely old job. I'm just going to turn it off of positive. Uh, back to positive, though. Kavalchuk. Looking long. And, oh, God. That's a really good ball. Oh, my God. Are you having a laugh? Oh, my. It's just one of those games, isn't it? You, you can't... Uh... He's just... I know we've actually increased the line of engagement, so they really should have been doing better there. The ball over the top, one touch, and then finish. Too simple. Way too simple. We should have been tracking the runners. Like, yeah, you could drop deeper and all that, but just track your runners. That's sh shocking. Oh, come on now. Not another indirect free kick goal, please. I beg of you. <sighs> what can you do? No matter what you do... You cannot... Look. Watch. Why is no one marking these guys? You've seen me set this up multiple times. No matter what you do, you cannot seem to get them to mark those back post runners because there's only one player in the match engine that you can set when you're attacking corners on free kicks that can make that far post run. Yet the AI seem to have multiple players that do it. And he's completely unmarked every time, basically. He's hit the crossbar and come back to Matvienko. And now we're 3-1 down. Are you joking? I'm not going to throw it to very attacking because there's still the second leg after all. And if we were to grab a 3-2 or something, like potentially here, Camille... Fiatic, yes, he's got another one. Wojciech Fiatic makes it 3-2 now with 15 minutes to go. Even a 3-2 defeat isn't the end of the world here for us um, because it would, you know, a 1-0 win in the home leg would do it. Lovely ball from Zavchukai. I've just opened up the passing a little bit um, as well, put it onto slightly longer. Camille, it's a lovely pullback. I think it might have been a deflection in there, but Fiatic makes a wonderful run back across. It's 3-2 and he's grabbed himself another. Come on, lads. That looks, oh, it didn't even show us the end of the match. That's really weird. It didn't, like, show us the full time bit. But there you go. Zoya 3, Polonia Vorshava 2. Two goals for Wojciech Fiatra kind of keep us in the tie. I suppose you could say, like, you know, the way their goals were scored, they might not be able to do that against us in the next game. So we've still got a chance. But we're going to have to be better than we were in that game, basically. So, game off camera. Then we're going to come back for the second leg against Zoya. And there's a lot on the line. But a 1-0 win will see us through to the next round. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I really don't know. We're going to have to rest some players for our next league game, I think. Anyway, see you guys in a sec. So, I thought we'd stop a bit early on the draw. We have played the game off camera, but there's a draw for the next round if we were to somehow get through. So we'll do that now. I'm going to do the all-teams draw because otherwise it'll be here all day. And we are going to play, if we were to get through, Lazio or Kauno Zalgris of Lithuania. I feel like Lazio, if we were to get through, will be who we'd play. And I feel like we'd probably struggle over two legs against Lazio. Um, but it'd be nice to have a crack at it. I think that is the final qualifying round, is it not? 
Um, I don't know, but I, I think it's unlikely we'd get past them. Anyway, stuff has happened. Firstly, in the, the guy I was talking about from Dortmund has actually signed. Frederick Danzo is coming on loan for a season to play at left back for us to give us another option there along with Kokoschka. I think he's a little bit different. Uh, gives us a tiny little bit more. We're playing quite a bit of his wages, but I felt like it was definitely necessary to bring him in. And I've also signed a centre-back in Jan Meisterek from uh, Arca, who were relegated because I just felt like we needed a bit more cover there. And I think at six foot one, Mark's opponent's title has got some solid uh, attributes at 22. I thought it'd be a decent option to bring in and improve us there as well. Now, they both played the last game because, of course, they can't be registered yet. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And in that last game, we mugged Pogon off. We were dreadful in the first half of this game. Very, very lucky to get to halftime at nil-nil. In the second half, I made a couple of substitutions to bring on some of the first teamers. Um, and then that made a hell of a difference. Straight away, practically, the ball fell to Hoxha from a corner and he smashed us home with his third league goal of the season. He's now the joint top scorer in the division. And then later on, of course, um, ball was dinked over the top from a free kick. And there was Smeal to take it round the goalkeeper and make it 2-0. Unfortunately, we then considered a penalty, which Turek saved. And then they scored a direct free kick directly after that. Bit of a shame, really, um, when you consider that we would have had five consecutive clean sheets were it not for that our goalkeeper though had a beautiful day to wreck so well played guys another win for us and that leaves us top of the league still but we've got a hell of a task today um uh, three two down from the first leg a win would see us go through provided it's by the right amount uh, we've got a lot of ineligible players unfortunately due to the, me bringing in other players but as for that that's pretty much good and they're looking pretty rested too for the most part so Kamil Hoksha Fiacic, Zaborowski, Zavzikrai, Gorka, Yamrok, Coyote, Konefal, Kokoschka, and of course, Neuerbau. On the bench, we're going to go with Kaczarski, Kasselik, Zuba, Bortnik, uh, Pomorski, Janowski, and Bochnak. Right, let's have a look at them. Same lineup, I'm guessing. Yep. See if they actually do play like this, though. Oh, no, this time they actually... No, no, they're playing an entirely different system this time. But we know how to play against this style, in theory. I'm going to flip it straight over to the other one, um, this version, on attacking straight away with the um, expression and that off. That's, I think, the best way to go about this. Holds the ball up. Camille out wide. We've got men surging into the box. Lots of them too. Ball across. Cleared away. It's going to come back to him. Have another crack. Zaborowski. And it's in. Janusz Zaborowski. Wonderful header from him. That might be his first header goal for a long time. Camille will get the assist. And after seven minutes, we're already in a winning position. Camille does a great job. But look at the amount of players we've got flying into the box. There's like five of them nearly. This is a wonderful ball back across from Camille. And Zaborowski gets a flicked header. Maybe slightly unsighted by Fiacic in front. It doesn't matter. It's 1-0 to Polonia. Come on. Here we go. Ball in. It's a penalty. Oh my God. We've missed both of our penalties this year have been missed. Please don't make it be three. A second goal here would be massive. Please don't miss three penalties this season in a row. Come on, Gorka. And it's scored. It's 2-0 to Polonia after just 12 minutes. We're 2 nothing up. Oh, what a perfect start. We've only had two shots and they've both gone in the back of the net. Fiacek, massive credit to him for presumably getting to the in front of his man, winning the penalty. And now at 2-0, they need to score twice. Just been really impressed with the lads. Fiacek's going to dink one of the back posts. Zaborowski flicks it on. It's going to come back down for Kaslik. Oh, go on. Ball across the back post. He's there. Kamil! Yes, it's 3-0! Slavomir Kamil ghosting around. Nobody tracks him. And now it's 3-0 in the first half. Oh, I don't know what all that mess was. I think it was their system. It was what did us in that first game. Um, this is poor from them, really. Nobody spots Kamil running around at the back post there. And by the time they do, it's far too late. And he's actually scored one of those for once. Lovely old job. 3 nothing. Lovely first half. That is a bit concerning, though, to lose both Konifal and um, Kamil in the same match to injury. Hopefully neither of them are too serious. My concern is mainly for our fallen brethren. And oh, Fiatric makes it four on the stroke of half time. He is a monster this season. He's just, that's three direct free kicks he's already smashed in. He only has like 14 free kicks. That is mental. Six goals of the season already for Fiatric. Look at that straight down the middle, to be fair. Four nil in the first half. They have really stepped up when they needed to today. That's brilliant. Uh oh, no. Oh, no. Well done, Neuger. Oh, wow. That is some sensational goalkeeping from Neuger to keep them out there. <laughs> that should have been a goal. Every situation we get through without conceding is like good stuff. Fiatic again. Oh, he's got another one. It's 5-0 and Wojciech Fiatic. He scored double free doubles in free kicks in two different games this season. That's his seventh goal of the season. Uh, again, dreadful goalkeeper. What about that for a free kick? A thunderbolt from Fiatic. Seven goals this year already and we're 5-0 up and we're cruising. And now Kaczarski's injured. Three injuries in one game mental um we're gonna finish with 10 men here it's, it's not gonna matter but that is dreadful to lose three different players in the same bloody game a, a game which we rested people for too a couple of seconds left here until we're through to the next round we're going through and there it is five nil uh seven two, seven three on aggregate great performance Zaborowski phenomenal Wojciech Fiacic but it's the injuries that have concerned me three injuries in one match albeit a five nil victory to send us through but the injuries let's see Camille three weeks 
Conifal, three days. Kucharski, two days. It's not the end of the world, but losing Camille is a bit of a concern. 250k, though. Lovely. Some games have been rearranged for the Lazio tie, which will be up next. Obviously, we'll do this one off camera. Come back for Lazio. Krakowia in between a Lazio again. I think Lazio is probably where all your, our European journey will end for the year. But to get through two rounds is pretty damn good. And to win 5-0 in the second leg after being 3-2 down, that to me is a really good performance from us. And to see Fiatric smashing a couple more, you can't go wrong there. So, that's what's going to be up in the next episode. A huge pair of matches against Lazio. I think it's probably the end though. And uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed this and us going through, drop a like on the video. That would be spectacular. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I will join you guys in the next episode for some more European troubles uh, against Lazio. Probably us losing 5-0 in our group. But you never know. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.